What is this? A review for Pokemon Stadium? Nope. F*** that. Minigames. Who needs to see a Charizard Fire Blast Academy in full 3D when you can slowly diminish whatever friends you have left? Yes, you and all your friends sitting around a TV in the old Nintendo 64 when one friend suggests, Hey, let's try the minigames, meh! And you're all like, sure, I don't like you that much anyways. And the ensuing games full of colorful Pokemon and smiles quickly turn to hatred and anger. Unless you're winning. Combined from Pokemon Stadium 1 and Pokemon Stadium 2, there are a total of 21 minigames, nearly all of them are fun in their own way. There are some button mashers, some time-based games, and even some memory-based games. It was hard to only do 5 because I love playing all of them, but here it is, my top 5 Pokemon Stadium minigames. Number 5 is Rock Harden. You play as either a Metapod or a Kakuna, and you must use Harden to protect yourself from boulders being launched at you. Cause that happens. Every time you get hit by a boulder while not using Harden, you lose HP. The twist here is, using Harden actually takes away your HP. So you have to time out each boulder while they fly at you and use Harden the least amount of time you can while also protecting yourself. Playing with friends or with the computers on hard makes you really have to focus while staying very competitive but still fun. The last bug type standing wins and then jumps... happily, I guess? My next minigame is really two in one as they're basically the same game. One from the first Pokemon Stadium and one from the second. Pichu Power Plant is a game built off a of thundering dynamo where you button mash either A or B to charge the electrodes. The only difference from the two games is that in thundering dynamo you only have to press A or B, and in Pichu Power Plant you have to use the D-pad in a certain direction and then beat the hell out of either A or B. The first Pokemon to get a full charge is the winner and the losers are shocked because screw you losers, hang your head in shame. And uh, lie unconscious. <laughs> Snore Wars is the mini game where you play as drowsies who are trying to make each other fall asleep by using hypnosis. All you have to do is press A when the pendulum hits the red arrow while swinging back and forth. Easy enough at first, but it steadily gets faster and faster testing your reflexes. Every time you miss the pendulum, you get a little bit more tired. It's a quick game that only takes about a minute to play. Eventually, three drowsies will fall asleep and the last man standing wins. I did it! Yay! In Egg Emergency, four players are chanties whose job are to catch eggs that are falling. For some reason. The L and R buttons move chanty left and right. This game gets harder as it goes along as the eggs fall faster and Voltorbs are thrown in that, if caught, shock you and make you lose some eggs. Because Voltorbs are jerks, and they evolve into even bigger jerks. Look at that smug smile. All you can do is explode. Anyways. At the end, the player with the most eggs is the winner. You have to play this on at least medium, otherwise it's more than likely that you and your friends could tie with a perfect hundred. It's a good thing I got all those eggs. So you can throw them in the water. You're a terrible mother, Chansey. Topsy Turvy for me is one of the most competitive minigames from Pokemon Stadium. The four players are Hitmontops who spin upside down and try to hit each other out of a ring, much like Beyblades. You control your hitmon top and use rapid spin with A, which knocks your opponent farther away. It takes about 3 seconds between rapid spins, so you have to circle around and time it to get the most of your momentum. Every time you knock someone out, you get a point, and the first one to 5 points wins. This is probably the hardest minigame against real people, which makes it so competitive and fun. While recording gameplay of this video, I had to play all the games by myself. Now while the bots may be fun, it was no comparison to when I was a kid playing all these with my friends. If you still have your own Nintendo 64 and some of your friends still like you, get out and play Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2 minigames. You won't regret it. I'm Happy Nest Gamer and I'll see you next time. That's me.